Hello, my name is Dr. Vicki Peterson and welcome to Dr. Vicki's Kitchen. Today we're doing our second installment of Dr. Vicki's Challenge. And in that I asked patients to send me what they wanted me to remake in a healthy fashion. And what was very popular was cheese. I don't blame you, I love cheese as well. And I really miss it being a vegan, but what I don't miss is the negative health effects that it had on me and I know it has on many of my patients. So I wanted to share with you today a great cashew based cheese that is really easy to make. I want to thank uh, Real Food Daily, which is a restaurant in the LA area. I think they have two locations and they're just fabulous. This recipe was adapted from theirs and let's get started. I'll show you how I did it. So we started with is one and a quarter cups of raw cashews and I've pulsed them in the food processor. So for this dish you do need a food processor and they're just kind of fine. It's not, it's not a powder, it's not getting into a butter for sure. They're just kind of fine, almost like breadcrumbs. So that's what's in there so far. And now what we're going to add is some seasonings. And what we have is uh, two teaspoons each of onion powder and sea salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and then we also have some black pepper, just an eighth of a teaspoon. So I'm going to add that to this. And I'm also going to add a half a cup of nutritional yeast. This is great not only because it really gives a nice flavor to it, but the nutritional yeast is loaded with B12, which is something that vegans have to really make sure they get adequate amounts of. So I'm just going to pulse this real quick just to combine it very quickly. So to the cashews, what we're going to add is something I've already combined, which is three cups of almond milk and a half a cup of avocado oil and a half a cup of a seaweed that's called agar agar. So you can buy this at your local health food store. It's already shredded. And what agar does, as I mentioned, it's a seaweed and it will thicken the cheese. So when we're first done, the cheese will be in a liquid form. And then when we put it in the refrigerator, it's going to solidify like a block. So what's great about that is you can slice it, you can shred it and use it the way you would normal cheese. So let's get going. We want to make sure it's smooth and creamy, which it is. And now to this, just going to very lightly blend two tablespoons of lemon juice and a half of a bouillon cube. And I've added a quarter cup of hot water to that and made it into just a very light broth. But it's just a little bit to give it some flavor. So this is what the bouillon cube looks like. So it just looks like a broth, basically. Put that in and our two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. And then we're just going to very gently combine. And that's it. We have our beautiful cheese. So the first thing we're going to do is add it to some pasta. So it's already nice and warm and cooked and we're going to have mac and cheese. And then the rest of it I'm going to put in a container in the fridge. Just get a little glass container and you'll have the solid cheese in about an hour or two. We put the cheese on the pasta that I made, so it's organic rice pasta. So here you have macaroni and cheese that's healthy for you. Your family will love it. And this cheese is pretty much a universal vegan cheese. You can make nachos with it. You can shred it once it solidifies and do anything that you do with normal cheese, but you don't have to worry about hormones and the various problems associated with dairy products that's, that's inflammatory. This is the opposite of that. So you can really enjoy this. Let me know what you do with it, what recipes you come up with, and please send me your next challenge, how I can take an American food, which is typically not too healthy, and make it into something healthy, plant-based, and anti-inflammatory. That's what we're all about at Dr. Vicki's Kitchen. So I'll see you soon.